channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. And if not, thank you so much for stopping by. Well, today I'm going to make some onion rings. And if you want to see how I make them, then just keep watching. Okay, so the onions you want to use is either a Vidalia or a yellow onion. They're more on the sweeter side, but they make much better onion rings. So today I'm slicing up two large uh, Vidalia onions and you can make them either as thick or thin as you like. I tend to like my onion rings on the thicker side. So then you just want to take all your sliced onions and just add them to the bowl. Now you want to take two cups of buttermilk and just add them to your bowl of onions. And now you want to take one scrambled egg and add that to your bowl as well. And now you just want to take your tongs and just make sure that the onions is coated really well in the buttermilk. So I'm covering my bowl in a plastic wrap and I'm going to sit it in the refrigerator for an hour so that the onions can really marinate in the buttermilk. Okay, so now I'm going to put together the flour mixture that's going to create that crust that makes onion rings so yummy. So I'm going to start out with a cup and a half to two cups of flour. Now I'm going to add a half a cup of cornstarch. I'm adding one teaspoon of baking powder. I'm adding a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper for a little heat. A fourth of a teaspoon of paprika. Now I'm just adding some salt and some pepper. And now you just want to take your whisk and just mix and make sure everything is well combined. Okay, so my onions are ready to go. I'm heating up some oil and I'm just grabbing some of my onion rings from the buttermilk. And I'm just going to add it into the flour mixture. Now you want to make sure that um, the flour is coating the onions really well so that you get a really good crust on them. And then you just want to shake up some of the excess flour and just put them in your hot oil. So you want to cook up your onion rings between 5 and 7 minutes or until your onion rings are golden brown. Okay, so when your onions are done, you just want to put them on a cooling rack. And you might want to just sprinkle just a little bit more salt while they're warm so they can absorb all that flavor. And then you just want to keep on going until all your onion rings are done. smell great so I'm gonna clean up really quick and I'm gonna give them a try while they're nice and hot so I'm just taking an onion ring and I'm gonna dip it in some ketchup it's so nice and crunchy you can taste a little bit of heat from the cayenne pepper and the sweetness from the onion makes this the perfect snack so you guys, that's it. So simple and easy. You will not believe it. So if you make it, comment down below and let me know what you think. And also, if you have any suggestions of what you may want me to make, add that to the comment section as well. And if you like this video, hit me with a thumbs up. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. Until then, I will see you next time in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.